Welcome back everybody. Another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. Um, it's Wednesday, November 13th, and uh, I wasn't expecting this until tomorrow, but it showed up on my doorstep early. This is the November's edition of the Mystery Tackle Box Elite. So, uh, showed up today. Um, I had to do some running around in the afternoon, so I didn't get a chance to actually do this this afternoon, so it's a little late in the evening, but I figured I'd throw this together and uh, get you guys a little glimpse at what's in the November edition of the Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Um, MTB has been up and down recently. Uh, good, good, bad, and indifferent. Some people have been getting some really good boxes, good months, and some people are, uh, are not really enjoying their, their, their subscriptions. That being said, I'm, I'm still a pretty darn good fan of, of uh, MTB. I haven't been disappointed yet, uh, you know, wholeheartedly haven't been disappointed. There's obviously gives and takes. You're going to have stuff that you're not custom to throwing. It's not in your wheelhouse of go-tos. Uh, but that's part and parcel what these are all about. These are about bringing you outside of your comfort zone, introducing you to baits and bait companies um, that you might not otherwise come across. Uh, and and try to coerce you into styles of fishing you might not be accustomed to. So if you're not, if you're more of a power fisherman, there's going to be power baits in these, but there might also be a lot of finesse baits in these as well. Um, so all in all, they give you a good round uh, selection of different things, different styles, different baits, different profiles, different colors, and different manufacturers. Um, with that all said, if you're interested in picking up an MTB uh, box, there'll be a link in the description of this uh, video for you to, uh, to grab a hold of. Uh, on a side note, coming shortly, uh, hopefully, the, uh, this month's Angler's Hall subscription should be, uh, should be showing up at my door. Um, that video might take a while because this is another month where the, the Angler's Hall subscription is going to come in multiple packages. It's not uh, one solid box from them. This is also coming, there's gonna be a shipment straight from the manufacturer to those who subscribe. Uh, similar to the one when we got our favorite fishing rod, when Favorite USA sent uh, the rod separate from the box. Uh, so we got a, a two-package uh, mailer. So with all that said, I will wait until I have both packages in my possession, or all, all, multi all the packages from whatever the multiple shipment is, and then I will put out my, uh, my angler's haul video. Um, let's dive into it, because I just opened it. So I've seen some of these... Um, I wasn't really impressed with the November month, um, but uh, we'll see what goes on. As always, you've got your Catch Co. Uh, contest, which you can enter, uh, take a photo with your fish, with ever, whatever species of fish you have, panfish, trout, uh, bass, walleye, whatever, and they have your minimal requirements, and you take a picture and post it on social media to win prizes, including uh, store credits and, uh, and, and, and other things. This month, we have another cool sticker. That's pretty pretty rocking sticker there. Bass playing the guitar. Um, one thing I do like about Mystery Tackle Box over 99.9% .9 of the other uh, box companies out there is they give you something unique when it comes to the sticker. It's not the same bland sticker each month and they are pretty much like to me the sticker originators. All these other ones are just copycats. So Whatever. I, I always enjoy getting, you know, manufacturer stickers, but when it comes to a box company giving you a sticker, I like to see something unique each month, not the same drab sticker that says, you know, mystery tackle box, mystery tackle box, you know, from that. Um, we've got our holiday issue of the, uh, of the digest, the catalog, I should say. Um, something new they're, they're putting out to kind of push their in-store purchases so that they'll show you different things that they have on sale. Uh, especially if you're a Shop Carl's men member, you'll get extra added discounts. We've got our What's in the Box card. On the back is obviously, as always, the Add To. So if you add items from ShopCarls.com, uh, MysteryTackleBox.com, you can uh, add them to your next shipment and your next shipment will... Uh, negate any shipping costs because you're getting the box anyway they'll throw it in the package and it'll be covered with the standard shipping for your monthly package you're just going to get the extra baits added into that package um, there's a little quick pick of the of this month's card now this month there's only seven items um, not huge tickets last month wasn't huge ticket items uh, but this month the highest priced item off the top is going to be a $12.99 item so eh. When I see things that, you know, you don't see a big, like, um, 
you know, $16 or $17 uh, bait, I like to see more in quantity if I'm getting a smaller uh, numerical value per item. Uh, the Dibble Digest this month with the, doesn't have the word search this time. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, but we've got no net, no problem. Uh, the right angle to fish square bill crankbait. So right there you got the idea that there's going to be a square bill in here somewhere. Uh, why don't companies offer fishing breaks at work? <laughs> I've, I've often said that. I would like the, uh, the boss to dig a nice pond in the middle of our, our job site. and Maybe I could go fishing on my lunch breaks. But unfortunately, uh, property is profit where I work. So uh, I don't think he's going to be digging up a couple of acres to put in a nice lake for me. <laughs> just to go fishing on my lunch break. With that all being said, let's uh, let's dive into this box. I've been spouting too much. So we're going to start off with the highest priced item, which is going to be Luff Lucky Crafts Bevy Bi Vib. Bevy Vib. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see Lucky Crafts. Lucky Crafts. Uh -huh. Yum. Bevy Vib. Okay, V-I-B, vibration. So it's a downsized bait. It's a more finesse uh, it's a Lucky Craft, so it's a JDM product right off the bat. Um, it's a vibrating little lipless crankbait. So we'll crack this open. And drop it on the carpet. That makes no sense. So this is a downsized version of basically a little bit of a rattle trap. Clear plastic construction. Tiny BBs in there. A much more, you know, simple and faint vibration. It's not one of those overwhelming vibrations. This is almost like having a box of nerds underneath the water. Um, yeah, I had nerds for Halloween, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not a bad bait. It's clear, um, you know, unpainted. That's good in, uh, you know, in some crystal clear water. If you have dirty water, this probably is not going to be as effective. Uh, but definitely, you know, it's a decent bait. $12.99 for a streamlined, downsized rattle trap. Uh, made in Japan, okay, but I think you're asking a premium for that, uh, for, for such a small bait. And there's definitely alternatives that can do exactly what this has, uh, both in the clear and in a pattern, you know, a, a colored pattern, painted pattern, um, for a lot cheaper than $13. But, is what it is, $12.99 for that. Catchco's Bubonic Buzz Square Bill. I've seen other people who had this in their packages as well. Uh, this is basically a crawfish pattern square bill. I've got, uh, this is a Chris Grout bait. This is the Mud Bug 2.5 inch half ounce version. I do love the Catchco packaging systems. I mean, they do market their products uh, very, very well. And they tape the box as well as. All right. The hell with the tape? No tape can hold me. Alright, so there's an interesting little package. That's something for Christmas right there. That's a stocking stuffer. If you get this and you want to give it away as a stocking stuffer, that's pretty darn nice. Comes with its own little, you know, gift box, sort of. And well, well packaged. There's no damage coming to this thing in shipment. That's for darn sure. Alright, so. There you have it. It's got that crawfish pattern. It's not the reversed crawfish like a lot of the more modern baits are going with, uh, where it puts the eyes at the top, giving it that square bill as it's running through. It gives you that uh, appearance that it's fighting back as it's traveling or flicking its tail. and Because crawfish, lobsters, they flick their tail to travel backwards when they're darting away from prey. They'll walk forwards normally on the on the bottom, but if they're uh, lunging away from prey, they're going to flick their tail and it jets propels them, you know, away, keeping their eyes and their claws in a defensive pattern towards the, the suspected prey, or excuse me, suspected uh, predator. Um, so, sticky hooks, uh, I mean, Ketchco has always had a good complement of hooks. They, they do connect with, with high quality hook manufacturers for their baits. Um, it's a very good, sturdy, clear plastic bait. Painted very well on the inside. Nice little blunt square bill. I'm sure that's going to give great action uh, under the water. And these are great this time of year in the cold water uh, to bounce them off of rocks and off of riprap and off of uh, stumps and everything. Square bills are, are great fish catchers in the, uh, in the cold water 
during the fall winter transition and considering how cold it's been today in the last couple of days in the 30s and 20s and the snow we had although it was brief it's definitely winter here <laughs> uh, that one is going for eleven dollars and 99 cents next up uh, major manu manufacturer is the live targets uh, crawfish crankbait live target so that's two craws in one box Wish Live Target packaged it like they did the uh, hatch cow. These things are freaking pain in the butt to get open. I should just cut it with a knife. There we go. All right, so this one is a Tennessee Craw, and it's by David Weber. It's his design. Again, this is that. Uh... Now, this one. Like I said with the other one, this one does simulate that backwards pattern. So this is more of a modern interpretation on this when they do the square bills and the diving lip baits. Um, you can see they've placed these two protrusions for eyes, which is awesome. That gives you a true three-dimensional uh, imitation of a real crawfish where the eyes actually bulge out past the, past the, the skull. And then you have the claws simulated here with the plastic drawn out and molded in the in the tip sort of like the pinchers are out in front so as you're swimming this along it looks like it's facing away and uh, trying to avoid its predators but that's really cool I, I do like that design that's that's ingenuity uh, it's about time they've you've seen somebody put some some bulbous bubbles on in their plastic I'd like to see a company that actually comes out with uh, you know an even further protrusion maybe in a soft plastic where they have uh, you know, two protrusions that'll stick out and emulate the eyes as well as the soft plastic claws. Um, and maybe even a, a little sturdier rubber kind of tail on the tail end uh, to emulate more of a, an accurate analog to a, to a crayfish. But this has got that little bit of orange on the claws and that, that green, um, you know, this cold weather time, you have molting, uh, molting crayfish, especially if they're fed up, they're going to molt in large. So you have that kind of soft shell green color that we see around here in the Northeast. Uh, obviously it's red, more often the red and orange. Although you can see red and orange all year long, but we see it mostly during those warm, warm uh, climate months. We get more of this muted olive green and the, the faint blue uh, of the crayfish during this time of period when the water's really cold. Uh, or you get a lot of brown during the cold winter months as well, like a, uh, like a mustard and, uh, and caramel color. But this is cool. And this one has also like a one knocker, a little faint rattle in there. So, so bouncing this off of something, that little rattle is actually going to add some extra, um, certainly some extra, uh, some extra attra attractant to the, to the bait. That's pretty cool. I do like that. I like that a lot. And the Live Target Crawfish Crankbait is $9.99. Now right there, major manufacturer, that's a decent price. I'd pay $10 for that any day. Um, I'd pay $10 for that over that $13 little lipless, uh, you know, that's just me. Yum Money Minnows. This is not a new bait. Lots of people know the Money Minnows. They catch fish. It's a little soft, pat, uh, soft plastic paddle tail. You get a, I think it's five pack here. These are clear gold color Money Minnows. And yes, it's a five pack. So you've got perfect minnow color scheme with that, uh, you know, that muted yellowish green gray color, a little bit of silver to the tail, and a little bit of gray silver to the back with the little black striations to add dimension, give you a little bit of a of a, that minnows kind of uh, almost. I I I, I accuse it to or I can it to like a, a spine. It just, to me, it looks like a skeletal pattern on the back of minnows when you've had live minnow. Um, I've always thought of that, like, you know, like it's the, the fish's scales, the, the whole cage, rib cage. But they emulate that right here in the, in the back with some faint black striations. So that's pretty cool. And it's a very soft plastic, but it's a, it's a sturdy plastic. So it's soft and pliable, um, you know, good quality, but it's got, it's got body to it that it's not going to tear up as easily. Um, that's one good thing about yum. Uh, the money minnows they do last on the hook uh 
they don't tear up. You do get some use out of them. So it's a five pack. That's decent. I don't mind that. Um, and that's going to be money minnows are nine dollars and fifty nine cents for for the five pack. Uh, next on it, Perfection Lures Sure Hookup Shaky Heads. Now these, funny as it is, I already have a pack of these. Um, I can't remember whether I got these in an MTB in the past or if I've picked them up shopping. But I've, I've definitely have these. I've used these um, many times. They are excellent. These little wire barbels on the bottom, they act as an... They almost act like a lunar lander on sandy, soft soil um, bottoms of, of lakes and, and ponds. You can actually pull this and drag these little metal wire feet, there's two of them, one on each side, and you can drag them across the bottom and really use that as like a, almost like a tuning fork and as a, a feeler to feel what bottom is. You can actually get a very good interpretation, especially if you're running this on, on, a, uh, on a braided line setup. You can feel the bottom and get a good, um, you know, tactile feeling for what the bottom is like if you see rocks or stumps or anything like that. And of course, those little, those little wire feet make sure that this kicks up and it sits flat and it gives you whatever your soft plastic is, either, you know, a short worm or, um, or a crawfish uh, bait or even a minnow. These things, they'll pop them right up and, and give you that action where the fish will come down and, and grab it off the bottom really well. And they have a good, a very good keeper. It's just a solid single barb, you know, attached keeper. It's not like a wire barb. It's, um, it's hard to say. Let me, hold on one second. Let me grab if I have it convenient. I'm sure I do. I always have my stuff convenient. Again, from my uh, from my angler's hall, I've got my jigs or my uh, my groove jig bait, uh, and here's right off the bat. Boop. These are a different style than what I got uh, in the MTB today. That I just put down here and can't find where I laid it. Jeez, Louise, what are you doing, Scott? Oh, it's anywhere. Um, these are you can see. There's the wire. The two wire feet, and here's a close-up of that keeper. It's got the same keeper. It's just painted in, single uh, barb keeper. That works out really well. There you go. But that definitely holds your soft plastics very, very well uh, onto your uh, onto your bait. Uh, these are a football head. What I got in today, and these are a little flatter-bottomed football head, smaller size, I think. Uh, these are three sixteenths. They might actually be the same size. I think these are. I think these are smaller. I think I bought these for more finesse. Uh, but these are three sixteenths is what I got in my MTB today. And on the back they give you, you know, you can run your finesse style. Uh, you know, your crawfishes, your lizards. They got the senko, which I like to run senkos on these quite a bit. Um, and also I run like crawfish imitations also. Uh, the Z-Man crawfishes work really well on this because this, this hook and the Z-Man's, uh, you know, durability is awesome. These things really do work well uh, together, surprisingly. So we got, we got that. And the Perfection Lures, uh, these are $5.99 for a pack of three. Uh, next on the list, or next to last, is going to be Strike King's Rage Craws. So these go right along the side of those Perfection Lures. So these are the Rage Craws. Uh, obviously, the Strike King always has their coffee scent. Coffee is not there to wake the fish up. It's actually there just to get the scent of your uh, your pheromones, your hand, and whatever other items you may be touching. It keeps that off so the fish aren't aren't uh, reluctant to bite because they won't smell you. They'll just smell uh, you know coffee. But uh, these are obviously Strike, Strike King, another durable plastics from uh, from Strike King. I like the paddles on these. I love the uh, the I beam construction they have on the claws that displaces water very well. If you're fishing these um, with the Strike King Rage Claws, I do like to fish them on a jig head and swim them, simply because of that that I beam construction. I tend when I'm using something like that, like that uh, that jig head. Uh, I like to use a more bulbous, round, uh, you know, floating style craw, uh, claw on my crawfish Im imitations rather than the paddle craw, uh, crawfish claws. So when I have a paddle style like this, 
I like to swim it on a, on a jig head like that. And when it's the bulbous, you know, the more floating, buoyant style, uh, those smaller ones like the Z-Mans, those I tend to use with a jig head that, I, that I'm bottom fishing for, uh, for fish with. But mm -hmm. I, do, I don't mind the coffee scent. <laughs> I'll take that over, you know, fish or, or whatever other scents and, you know, the juice and stank and all the other uh, companies. I'll take the, the coffee over that any day. But uh, the Strike Kings, Rage Cross, definite fish catchers, known, known to be successful with these. Um, this color... I'm not too uh, attuned to. I've never used this color. It's almost like a like a copper green. Oh, it's you know, it's just a it's odd. I don't know what the color. I don't think I list the color on here. I don't see the color on this. I really don't. It doesn't have. It has a patent number, of course, but I don't see a color listed. So I can't even tell you what color this is. But it's it's odd. It's like a I don't know. It's a, it's a green copper ish kind of tone, you know, like, I don't know, it's not a green pumpkin or anything like that, it's really a dull, metallic kind of, the green, who knows, maybe that'll work, I'm more time, I'm more attuned to using things like, uh, you know, like the, the blue, the blue black, uh, you know, reds, uh, even a chartreuse style, uh, more than that color, but we'll see, I'll throw it and see what happens, the Strike Kings are 549, and last, we have Carl's Baits again. So we've had the Catch Co. Bionic Buzz Square Bill. And now we have the Carl's Amazing Bait Flicker Worm. That's the last one in here. Uh, these are awesome. Okay, so we got this uh, red copper flake inside of a red worm. So that gives you that multi-tone. It gives you a, the look of green, the look of copper, the look of uh, gold because of the way that that interacts. And this is actually a, a laminate pour. So you have a red color on one side and you have a, a clear milky color on the other side. So you get that laminate. Let's see if I can get it into camera frame, but you could almost make out, you got the red bottom here and that milky white top. I'll rotate it slowly so hopefully you can catch that. Hard to tell. But uh, yeah, it's a dual, dual tone laminate. So two layers. Nice long worm. Again, there's that bulbous style. This is something that I would fish on, say, that on that uh, that uh, bottom jig. So this way this floats up, twitches. You've got that bouncing along the bottom. And you can also drag it with those feet, which will keep the head up. And you can feel the, the bottom as you're dragging this along the bottom. So this would be good with those, uh, those perfection oars jigs. Uh, the shaky heads. So the Carl's Amazing Flicker Worm. This is $3.99 for this pack. Um, and these are, again, Carl's. Put your links to your worms. Don't just put them in the pack. Tell us whether they're a 5-inch, a 4-inch worm. Don't tell them. Don't just leave it blank. I don't have to get out a, a bloody measuring stick and say, oh, yeah, this is a 5-inch worm. Or six inch worm, sorry, six inches. So, you know, I shouldn't have to do that. It should, it should, it should be written on the package. Every manufacturer should list their, their worms. This makes it a lot easier figuring out what hook you want to go to, what jig head you want to go with. Um, just saying. But that's a good package. You got what, three, six, nine. I'm going to say this is a 10 pack, nine pack, something like that. Good quantity. It's not some crappy little four pack, so I'll give you that. Four, six, eight. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a nine pack. Again, these are $3.99. Excellent price. It's a Carl's bait, so it's in house. Um, but, you know, you got two in house brands. You got the Catch Co. and you got the Carl's Amazing uh, this time. Strike King and Yum, Live Target, Lucky Craft, all good manufacturers. All in all, eh, this is, uh, if I was to grade this, um, you know, scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this like a, I don't know, a 7. Uh, I, I love the, the Carl's Flicker Worms. Uh, that, that, uh, that crawfish, this one is hard bait. Definitely, I'm looking forward to, uh, to throwing and, uh, and giving that a shot. Uh, the live target crank, that's, that's pretty cool. 
Uh, the Yum Money Minnows, I wish there was more in a package of them, but I know they're good, and I know they catch fish, so I'm not worried about that. They, they, they work well, and the color and paint scheme on those is by far a great imitation of a minnow. I mean, I could throw that salt water uh, all day and catch just, you know, striper blues, all kinds of stuff. Um, so that, that goes fresh or salt water. I'd have no problem using those. They'd work well. All in all, like I say, um, you know, I only got seven baits. I, I really wish that when you, when you buck up to the elite brand, the elite editions, you're paying the extra money. I wish they had like a minimum. You got eight baits minimum, 10 baits, you know, on average, but eight baits minimum. Uh, and then you get like six or seven baits in the guys who get the, the pro kit. And then if you just get the standard, you get like four or five baits, maybe six on the max pro you get, uh, seven, eight baits, you know, and then Elite, you get nine baits or ten baits uh, maximum. Uh, I just wish that they'd make it that your purchase price bucking up to the higher value, you got a higher quantity. Not just quality, but quantity. So if you're going to get a $21, you know, like the, the Freddy the Frog or something crazy like that, then yeah, you know, throw seven baits in my, in my Elite box. But I have the Freddy the Frog, which makes up for it. If I'm not getting that, if I'm just getting a box design like this, I'd like to see, you know, eight, nine, ten items. Um, this to me is more like pro level stuff, not elite level. I'd like to see one or two more things or at least one big item thing. But that's just me. All in all, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a seven out of ten in my opinion. Uh, I will leave a link down in the descriptions if you're looking for MTB. This is awesome. This is a great Christmas time gift. If you want to get something for Christmas, order, uh, get yourself one of these, they have promos going, you can get these boxes, at least the standard box, extremely inexpensively, and I think they have discount promos for these as well. Uh, I'll leave, leave, uh, leave that down in the description, along with always, I leave the full list of the items and the prices uh, so that you don't have to keep rewinding and fast forwarding. But I always appreciate it. If you did enjoy this, you know it was quick, uh, and I know I still ramble. So even my quick videos aren't quick. But uh, if you enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe to my channel, share this on your social media, uh, hashtag Hocaholics, all my Hocaholic fans out there. We get close and then we drop off and we get close. People, you know, obviously people stop uh, being on YouTube. Uh, people close their channels down. And, uh, you know, and also the way YouTube works, if you're not checking in with me constantly, sometimes it just randomly will boot me from your subscription list. So if you were a subscriber, double check and make sure that you're still subscribing. Hit the bell notification twice. Make sure that you'll catch these new uploads as they come out. Uh, I don't throw a whole bunch of uploads down everybody's throat. I'm not one of those people who's going to push a video every single day. Uh, it wouldn't matter if I had a million viewers, I wouldn't put a, a video every single day. To me, that's kind of overkill. Um, I don't, I don't go to everybody's other videos every single day. I catch you when, you know, all the people that subscribe to me, I, I keep tabs on your, your uh, format and your video and your uploads if you're one who puts out videos, um, you know, just like uh, Foul Mouth Fishing, the other Foul Mouth Fishing, big subscriber to them. Uh, Juggalo Fishing Family, big subscriber to him. Uh, you know, uh, Realistic Fishing, uh, one Rod, One Reel, who just hooked back up with the Guggen Squad uh, a couple months ago. Uh, big subscriber to him. I, I don't watch every single video if they're going to put out three videos a day or two videos a day or a video every day. But I will come at the end of the week and I'll catch the ones that, that definitely uh, tickle my interests. Uh, but if you enjoyed this, if you want uh, to know what MTB is all about, as opposed to some of the other subscription plans, I know we've got the uh, Monster Bass out there. A lot of people are switching over to, uh, to Monster Bass. Um, me, personally, no way. I'm never going to have a Monster Bass subscription. Uh, he, he, he marketed, but he didn't, he didn't live up to my expectations. He lied. He started putting in, uh, you know, in-house brands. Like, MTB never said that they were never going to put in an in-house brand, an MTB brand. Um, they do pad their boxes with their own in-house stuff. It's profit to them. And I understand that. But they never bullshitted and said, we're never going to have anything except for, you know, proper, well-known and established uh, big-name baits. Monster Bass came out and said, we will never have a no-name bait. We will not put anything in that's not 
Live Target or Yum or you know Gary Yamamoto's or what have you. It's always going to be name brand products, high quality products. And then literally the second subscription box, they had a Monster Bass bait in there. Now this past month, I've seen guys in the Northeast and down in the South with these companies that I've never heard of. These are not well-established companies. These are, you know, brand names that nobody knows. It's just, it's not, uh, it's just not, it's not right to bullshit your way. Just be upfront and say, look, I'm a new company. I'm coming out. I'm going to push as many name brands as possible, but I'm, it's not like I'm not going to throw in a company you might not have heard of to try to give them traction. And I support companies that don't have established names. It gives them a way into the market and it helps promote somebody that might come out with the most amazing soft plastic you've never heard of. And thankfully, Monster Bass threw uh, you know, a starter pack into their box. Now you have a company. You've been able to put their plastics on your hook and catch lunkers on it. And now that's something that can become the next, you know, uh, Strike King or the next Yum. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not knocking that. But at least be honest in your marketing. Uh, and also, I've seen, uh, you know, I've, I've point by point seen how much the cost of the items in my boxes are compared to how much I pay and what the value per, per box is over time, and I haven't been discouraged. I've found more value for my output. Uh, I haven't felt ripped off. I've done the same thing with, uh, with Monster Bass, and I've equated their boxes to what items in it to the value going online or going to a store, and I've just seen that you're basically getting almost what you pay for. You're not really seeing a marginal uh, value. But that's just me. Um, so I, I got nothing against all the guys out there. If you enjoy Monster Bass, good to you. If you enjoy Lucky Tackle Box, if you're down with that, they, they're another company I won't go to. Uh, i just seen them fall off. They're under the new management, but it's not like they're changing anytime soon. Um, so hopefully they'll, they've, they'll get their act together maybe in another year or two, uh, come next spring, uh, and summer, maybe they'll, they'll pick their pace back up and get back on good graces. Um, but there's a lot of companies out there that over time just fell off. Mystery Tackle Box, they have hit and miss boxes. I know a lot of people are, are discouraged by them. Uh, I've seen other people that got discouraged, that got repeat boxes and got repeat baits. And like I say, I think... I don't recall whether I purchased, I think I purchased these separately, um, but uh, it might have been in one of my other mystery tackle boxes. I just can't recall ever getting uh, Perfection Lures in, a, in an MTB box until now. Uh, but you see, I already had them, <laughs> and I'll use them. It's not like they're something I'm not accustomed and comfortable with. So, thumbs up to that. Again, sorry for the, uh, for the long thing, but uh, thank you for watching. Again, like, subscribe, and share. This has been another... Hookaholics edition of Foulmouth Fishing. God bless, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace.